Wish me luck. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again. Yes, I did it. Quick, let's put the helmet on and get ready for the last off. Whoa. There's a man on the moon, you can count on him. He's getting lunar and his name is Jim. There's adventure ahead and a lunarific ride. Luna Jim! Nothing like rocketing into a new lunar day with a good breakfast, right, Rover? <coughs> Who could that be? Jim here. Hello, Jim. This is Eco. Today's the day the supply pod arrives. Roger that, Eco. Today's the day. Lunarific? It's movie night tonight, and my new automatic popcorn plants are arriving in the pod. Over and out. Movie night. Jumping Jupiter. I can't wait. Now, back to breakfast. <laughs> Healthy cereal gives your belly a blast. Hmm. Looks like my cereal is lost in space. Don't worry, Rover. Remember, today is Supply Pod Day, and it's loaded with brand new boxes of cereal. Hello, Jim. This is Pixel. Hello, Pixel. How's my favourite computer on this lovely lunar day? Fine, Jim. But there seems to be a problem with the Supply Pod. We've lost contact with it. Jumping Jupiter! Can't find my cereal? Uh, 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 I mean, the supply pod. There's only one thing to do. Come on, boy. Let's get Luna! We want to get out there as quick as a comet to find the pod. What do you think, boy? Right, Rover, the Lunar Lifter. Cereal, here we come. Last off! Hmm, I wonder where Jim's going in such a hurry. Hello, Ripple. I can answer that. Jim has gone to find the supply pod. It seems to be missing. Missing? It's odd Jim left on a mission without checking with me first. Hmm... Pixel, which vehicle did he choose? He's taken the Lunar Lifter. The Lunar Lifter? Ted, did you remember to put fuel in the Lunar Lifter? Fuel? Um, is that... is that... is that important? I have calculated that the Lunar Lifter will run out of fuel in approximately ten minutes. Ten minutes? Ted, pack the emergency supplies. We need to go and help Jim. Super technical device reporting for duty! <laughs> Ow! Jumping Jupiter! There's something wrong with the lunar lifter! Looks like we're running out of fuel! Hang on, boy! I'm gonna have to set it down! Daisy, bad news. The supply pod's gone missing. A movie night's just not a movie night without popcorn. My thoughts exactly. Jim's not the only fella around here who can save the day. Hang on, Ted. I just installed a booster which will help us to get to Jim faster. Faster? Oh, I think I'm getting scooter sick. Now I know why they call this the dark side of the moon. 
What's up, boy? Have you found something? Prints in the lunar dust. Looks like some sort of vehicle made them. Rover, show me a picture of the supply pod, please. Well, would you look at that? These prints look like they were made by the supply pod. That's odd. Where's the pod? Rover, lights over here, please. Footprints. One, two, three, four. There are six of them. And most of them look pretty weird. Hmm. They don't look human. By the looks of things, whatever made these prints dragged off our supply pod. See these marks? Rover, it looks like our supply pod has been dragged off by a six-footed pod-stealing alien! Do you really think it's a good idea to stroll around the dark side of the moon? Sounds like someone is afraid of the dark. Afraid? <laughs> Technical equipment devices fear nothing! Oh, these are strange footprints. Strange footprints! Run away! Run away! Ted, oh. remind me to all your joints when we get home. Ah, what was that? Oh. I did hear oh. something. What was that? Ripple! Ted! Cool. Oh, Jim, you nearly scared me out of my spacesuit. Sorry about that. Well, we're hot on the trail of a pot stealing alien. Alien? Oh. Oh. You had us all worried. Why didn't you check with me before you went on this mission? I was just in such a hurry to find my cereal. Uh, I mean, to find the pod, that I sort of forgot. Sorry, Ripple. Well, what's done is done. Right. We're a team, and right now we have a pod to find. Let's get, get Luna! Strange. The prints go straight into the eco-dome. Why would an alien drag our supply pod in there? There's only one way to find out. Why do we have to find out? We could all just go home and hide. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Huh? The alien. It's got horns. Uh, uh, I mean, <clears throat> okay, large six legged alien with horns. Come out and show yourself. I mean it. Oh, Ripple, hold me. All right, all right. Don't get your space shorts in a knot, Jim. Crashing comets. The alien knows that I wear space shorts. Did the alien just say... No? The supply pod? Eco? Daisy? Can someone please tell me how the pod got here? Daisy and I went out there and found the pod and together we dragged it back here with some good old-fashioned moo power. Right, Daisy? But we saw six footprints. Alien footprints. Look, Daisy has four footprints, and Eco Sprints would add another two, so that makes... Seven footprints! I worked it out! <laughs> Actually, that makes six. <laughs> well, that solves that mystery. But why did you go and find the pod without telling anyone, Eco? <laughs> Humans, always in a hurry. The pod had my new automatic popcorn plant. You can't have a proper movie night without popcorn now, can you? Movie night? Oh, goody! I get the front seat! <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> <laughs> popcorn, anyone? Yes, mm, please. please. After a big bowl of cereal. <laughs> <laughs> with 
Way Baloo. <laughs> Only on CBeebies. This listen along to pictures box. Yes, you can listen and you can watch things on it. Yes, what I've done is I've cut this great big aperture at the side here. Oh, that's a hole to you and me. And I've put some buttons on and you can play with these controls. And it's amazing. All you have to do is uh, switch it on. Oh, no, first of all, I've got to put something in here. This is called an aerial. This gets you the pictures and the sounds, you see. And then let's press this button and everything starts to work. What do you mean, get on with it? I'm trying. 